welcome to my channel where my motto is I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing and today's feature will be on making your own green screen studio. For those of you that are not familiar with green screening I've had a few questions so I decided well I'll give you a brief tutorial on how that's done. So I use a product called CyberLink Power Director and I'll double click this to open it. I'm not going to go into all the details, but normally you want 16:9 as far as the aspect ratio. And for videos, I always go to the timeline mode. So this is opening the software. It gives you some preset backgrounds. I normally do not use any of these. So what I'll do is I will take them out. So you just click on the first one, go to the last one, pull down the shift button, click it, that highlights them all, then hit delete. Now you've got a fresh uh, space to work with. The next thing you will do is get the videos that you had taken on green screen. You have two choices here. You can do individual files or small groups of files, or you can do an entire folder. I'm going to go ahead and do a folder first. And you can see these, uh, it just automatically went to the last one that I did and I want both of these folders so I'm going to highlight them both select them and now it's going to place all those on my palette I'll call it so next down in this lower area you've got several areas to work with and I'm going to shrink this up so you can see it better you can see the visual keys here obviously that's a videotape and that's a speaker so if I grab one of these and pull it down, it's putting the video and the audio on that line. However, that's line one and that's the furthest back. I don't want to be the furthest back. I want to be in the middle. So I'm going to take that out. And you can see there are duplicate audio and video segments numbered. This is one. Down here is two. I actually want at least three. So you see this little plus sign and a video identifier. Click this and I can add several more and I can choose where to put them. Below track two, above track one, or below track two. So I'm going to go below track two and I'm going to actually add two video and two audio. You can also add additional effects tracks, but I'm not going to do that at this time. Click OK. And now, if you look to the left, I'm going to drag this down so you can see. Well, I guess you can see right there. Now I have the original video audio track, the second one, and a third and fourth. And how this works is I'm going to put this video on track two. Anything that goes on track three or four will appear in front of this video. Anything I put on track one will be behind it. So I'm going to drag this back down so I can see better what's in my palette to work with. I actually need some more things so I'm going to this time I'm going to do media files and here's the original video that I made and posted. I'm going to take that and I'm going to open it which will put it on my palette right there and I'm going to get some more files but this time here's one titled background photos let me grab something from here at random, let's say I want this and I want clear down to here. I'm going to sh hit the shift key, hold it down, click on that. All these are highlighted. Now if I say open, it will import all those up to my palette. And I also want one more grouping and this opening effects maybe. Double click that. Yeah, there's my clouds. I'm going to go ahead and import all of these, even though it's a little overkill. 
So again, you can do it two ways. Click the first one, hold down the shift key, click the last one you want, say I wanted to hear, and then go and say open, or I can highlight the ones I want. I'm just going to take them all and again say open. That puts them all here. So as an example, here's a movie of some clouds. If I put it on track one, now you see it does not have a soundtrack, so it just leaves. It will put the clouds behind this green screen. To um, edit this, several ways. First, I'm going to come over and get to where I would want. Uh, let's see, that's not the segment I want, so we're going to take this out. I need to grab where I'm going to talk in front of the green screen. Let me verify that's what the... Okay, here I am talking. So this is the one I want to put here. Track 2. And I want to get to the beginning of where I'm talking. Two ways to do it. I can clip this and then delete that and leave a gap or fill a gap or move all clips. I'm going to remove the gap. Now I'm going to undo that because there's also another way to do it where I can do this little pair of scissors. And now, let me go back to the beginning. I can play right to where I want to um, edit it, right before I start speaking. Now I can go back just a hair by clicking on this little button, and then this will clip out the front, and when I say OK, it'll put it in the right position automatically on the screen. But there's more to it. If I highlight this screen just by clicking on it one time, it turns blue. Go up to Tools, Power Tools, Crop and Zoom. Now I can get rid of some of this on the sides. I can decide, okay, how much of me do I want in the picture? I just want a upper body shot. Makes me look thinner, don't you think? And you can see where I'm editing and this is what it'll look like. And I say OK. Automatically does that for that whole clip. Now I want to get rid of the green. I'm going to, let's say I'm off of it. So we'll start from this point. I'm going to double click on the scene itself. This brings up some editing. I'm not going to go through a lot of it. I'm just going to slide all the way down. This is the part you'll want to scroll down to. It's called Chroma Key. You're going to highlight that. See this little eyedropper? You're going to click that. Go over in here and find an area that is kind of the medium coloration of the green screen. And boom, it's gone, but you can see there's some green around me. So these are fine tuning tools over here on the left. Just kind of play with them a little bit. until you get what you're happy with. And again, I'm not striving for perfection. It's not like I'm a weatherman on the news or anything. Okay, now I can preview this before I save it. You can see I do some editing from time to time. Still some green there that I don't like. So let me um, see if I can't take some more of that green out. That's better. But you have to be careful. So you can take too much color out and you'll, your clothes will disappear. So it's just a matter of working with the software, playing around with it, getting it right to where you want. This is the place in the clip where I want. So now all I have to do is go over and click OK. That automatically puts it where it's supposed to go in the final video. It gives you an idea of the 
clip and how I set it in place. I hope that gives you a general overview of how you can use a green screen to enhance your video production. You don't need any other special equipment, um, no background screens or anything. You can just use videos and put them in the back. And uh, it's pretty easy to work with. Just remember your layering, layer one, layer two, and so on. So again, that's uh, PowerDirector by Cyberlink. So consider making your green screen for yourself. I'm just learning and I continue to learn as I go. I enjoy it, I hope you do too. This is Boiler Dan One, where I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing. Thanks so much for watching.